Hello guys, I think we are live inside everywhere in the group on my profile across several groups actually and also on YouTube. So this is um we're gonna talk to, we're talking tonight about a tool called backlink SEO as you guys see up here. And and here with us is the developer, the founder, the CEO, the guy who knows everything about backlinks and you know how to handle them, Mr. Abdul. So Abdul, welcome to the program. Let's uh, let's go and dive uh, deeper into this con uh, concept of backlinks. Awesome, man! Thank you so much for having me. Okay, so tell us what what's going on right now. What what do you want us to talk about tonight? Uh, what's new? Uh, so people need to know more about the tool. So this is what definitely we're right? definitely yeah. And I think one of the biggest core focuses is outreach, right? So I think we should. Um, definitely, I want to go over the type of campaigns we have, how they can help your business grow, um, how you can best utilize those campaigns, and how to actually send out an email using our system or multiple emails using our system, um, and you know how see how it helps you speed up the whole outreach process and auto automate it. Okay, so yeah, I did a you know last night or I don't know a couple nights ago I did a, or a night two nights ago. I did a demo of how the whole thing works, but my focus was more on how to make money with the tool. Mm -hmm. I, you know, we showed how you know you can actually do cam outreach campaigns, and that's how you go get decent uh, backlinks. So, and yeah. um, do you want to walk us through and talk about exactly everything so you can share your screen? Probably. Sure. Sure. Yeah. All right. All right. Let me share my screen. Yeah. yeah. All right. That is your screen at the bottom. Awesome. Yeah. We can maybe highlight it to make it uh, to make it the uh, okay. The prominent one, right? Spotlight. Yeah. Awesome. Perfect. Cool. All right. So you know, many of you that are familiar with backlink SEO will be familiar with this dashboard already. But instead of going over, you know, one of the other main features of ours, which is monitoring, today I want to go over campaigns. And so we head over to the top menu item campaigns and, you know, we have campaigns, templates, sequences, and contacts. I'm going to go over all of these, but let's, for example, actually set up, look at what type of campaigns do we have, how you can use them. Um, and, you know, and actually set one up together. Mm -hmm. So one of the most common ones is building meaningful relationships and you want to build relationships with any and everyone you can, especially for your business. Um, so this specific campaign, what this campaign does and only this campaign, what it does is it looks at your blog posts, finds all your outbound links, right? And reaches out to the people that you have mentioned in your blog. That's what this specific campaign is for. So if you want to reach out to people, if you've made a list of like 20, 20 softwares that are, um, you know, are helping you, for example, um, with finance, let's say, and you mentioned 20 businesses or 20 um, different tools, you could use this campaign type to reach out to them and say, hey, I linked to you. I've mentioned you in my blog. Could you mention me? You know, um, so this is the type of relationship you can build with this campaign. Now, spot the resource, tools, get reviewed, offer expertise, and round up. These five, these five campaigns are, I would say, are grouped together. What that means is these campaigns give you live results on opportunities. So for example, if I, right now we have, of course, an SEO tool, right? So um, let's actually do this. Let's say, let's take a tool. Let's say tool campaign and say, I want to find out other tools that are going to be, you know, um, talking about SEO or talking about backlinks or anybody that's actually talked about backlinks. Um, what can I do? Maybe I can um, say backlinks. Right. Here's a few things that I like doing. Post site. My site actually is called backlink SEO. So I want to change that. Post keywords. What are the keywords that I want to look at? Uh, probably, probably backlinks actually for this one, you know, and it, it pulls up these keywords for you so you can choose, but you can, you know, you might want to just go with one. Mm -hmm. And so I'll go with backlinks. Uh, let's see what else. Post title, complete guide to monitoring backlinks using backlink SEO. You know, you, you can clean these, I guess, variables up 
to help you. What the, what these are are these. Okay, so you see it found all these tools. Boom, right there. Everybody that's written about backlinks. So let's go back up here. You can clean this up because these are variables you can use in your outreach template. So just remember that. Right. You know, set this up so you can use it very nicely later. So look what we have. We have, you know, I'm going to actually go down and probably, oh, so we have a good amount. We have 24, you know, and all these people are, are talking about link building tools. Our tool is, um, you know, an outreach tool. So it might be really smart for us to reach out to these people and say, hey, you know, we saw your blog post. Could you, you know, um, link to us? So let's do that, for example. Let's select all of them. Uh, this one doesn't seem to be. So let's go analyze links. And you'll notice here's a few new things we've added since the last time we did this. You can now choose to select how many emails you want per domain. So, you know, previously people were getting, you know, 10 or 20 emails from Neil Patel or Mention or Backlinko or et cetera. You can now choose, I only want two emails from Neil. I don't, if, if the system finds more, don't give it to me, just give me two. At the same time, it also removes any duplicate emails you get. So this is a very, very good list at the moment, right? Um, I'm going to go and say co get contacts. And for this time, you know, because every single time we've done this, we've used one more lead. I'm actually going to use Hunter um, for this. So let's, see, let's go back and, and, and I'm going to click, you know, of course, get contacts. And now what the system is going to do is it's going to go ping Hunter and say, hey, get me the emails that are available for each and every one of these sites. And you'll see them right here, mm -hmm. all the way down. You know, you see all these emails. And in some cases, you also get the LinkedIn for the company. For example, Neil Patel is very famous. You can get his LinkedIn. You also get the validity amount. So 98% confidence that this email is actually going to hit the, you know, this is a valid email. Mm -hmm. So you can get the confidence level, level as well. Um, is that coming from uh, Hunter? Yeah. So currently, the confidence level is coming from Hunter. That's right. Yeah, so here you see this one is 35% confidence. I probably don't want to send it to this guy. I also don't want to send it to this one. Uh, these ones I don't have names for. I don't want to send them to, you know. So you can, of course, choose. You see, this is this is one of the reasons why. So if you see cold, cold, you know, cold field, you could go back up and say, um, I only want to get five emails. You see what I mean? This is the reason why we limited emails per domain. Mm -hmm. But this gives you a very, very fair idea. There's almost, you know, there's hundreds of, emails here. Oh, well, not hundreds, but dozens of emails. Once you have these emails, the what you want to actually look at is your email sequences. Now, which sequence will help me? In this case, I'm wanting to build a relationship. I want them to know about my blog, right? I want them to know about my product. Um, I could actually use a tools one. I could. So this sequence is already built for you. You can go and manipulate this. Um, so for Neil Patel, right? On his, so let's go to, let, there's a lot of people that actually work at Neil Patel, I guess. Um, but let's just say, hi there, Sandra. Abdul from Backlink SEO here. Hope you've been doing well. I came across your post on different Backlinks tools. You see, here's what happens. Backlinks tools. If I would have gone up here, and my keyword should be Backlink, not Backlinks, right? So what I'm going to go do is I'm going to come all the way back down, and I'm going to kind of refresh this. I'm going to toggle it and say tools, okay? And you'll see what happens. It automatically will update. You see how it says, I came across your post, different backlink tools. It automatically will update your keyword. This was a keyword. So it automatically inserts your keyword. It automatically inserts their blog post URL. So this template is fully made for you, ready to go, right? Um, so I want to reach out because my company makes a brilliant backlink. That I thought would be so. Here's where you you know you want a personalized thing backlink tool. That I thought would be a perfect addition to your audience. My company backlink SEO. My company it, company is backlink SEO. So now, what if I wanted to make this you know permanent? I wanted to go and make these changes permanent. What would I do? Um, actually, let me show you that in templates. But this gives you a good idea. Each one of these I can go and then customize. Right? Hey there, Anna. You know, here's your, you mentioned this. I absolutely love the information you shared. I went to your area because my company makes a big backlink tool, right? So this is getting kind of tedious, right? I'm going in each and every one of these. I'm trying to update them. 
Right. So I'm going to go and click edit. Here's my template. And so what did I do? I, I think that was pretty fast. I clicked this edit button right here. Mm -hmm. Okay. And it sent me the template. I said, hope you're doing well. I came across your, your post on different. You see how it says post keyword? That's tools. I absolutely love the information. I wanted to reach out because my company makes a brilliant backlink. So what does that tell you? My, my keyword should be backlink tool, actually. But let's just do this right now. Backlink tool that I thought would be perfect addition to your audience. My company backlink. My company is backlink SEO. Let's save that. Right. And now what I want to do is once this is saved, I want to go back here. You have to toggle it because it's, it's you know, it's, pull, it's going to pull that information in. Right. Um, in this case, I probably want to. Oh, I, I let's go to my templates and see where I saved it. Hell, let's see. Did, where did I make this new one? Sorry. Tools. My company is. All right. Cool. Perfect. Let's go back. Campaigns. Current campaign. Oh, we pulled a lot of emails from Hunter, huh? Right. right. <laughs> we, pulled, we pulled a very, very good amount. All right. So you see how it updated your template. Now, now I don't need to go and update all of these, right? Because it has exactly what I want. It, it added my company is, backlink tool. I think we're good to go. In, in this case, for this situation, I'm just going to keep it very generic. You can, of course, personalize this very, very, you know, deeply. Um, let me show you one more time. These are all the variables you could use. You know, and we're going to be adding custom variables you can add in. So just to give you an idea, you, this can be highly customized. But right now, I want to, you know, just for the sake of time, I'm showing you something really fast. Now, I've actually set up a, a new email for this because, you know, I, I wanted to actually just demonstrate sending emails out, I guess. So we're going to connect to that. And you'll see this um, sending emails on behalf. It says yes. When do I want to schedule them? You know, to, I would like it to go today, definitely. So today is Sunday, um, uh -huh. eleven fourteen. All right, I'm just making sure everything's good. All right, right. you know, and let's do this. Oh, so, that's cool. So that looks. Uh, so in, we're, we're estimating in about four to five minutes. This will slowly start because it says scheduled to be right. sent out. So what is it going to do? It's going to send. It's going to schedule sending out this. So sending out from this Gmail because I, this is the Gmail that I currently set up. So you could the, the cool part is you could set up brand new Gmail accounts with you know free accounts, 500 sending limit that Google has per day. Connect these to each of your campaigns. In this case, you know I have of course four XLTD added here, so I have a hundred campaigns. Mm -hmm. So if I hired a few VAs, I told them make Google accounts connected to 100 100 campaigns, run these campaigns out. I could send these, you know, calculated like a hundred campaigns, five hundred emails a day. You know, you do the that's a good amount of emails going out, and they could personalize it. They could set everything up. It's very, very, you know, in in this case, it's very easy to do, and it's really, really, um, you know, powerful. But right. while this is scheduled, let's go back and look at the different campaign types, if that's okay. You know, so this one was tools. This one was resources. So I can go do the exact same thing, right? Um, I'm going to take my blog post. Sometimes you you want to look at tools. Sometimes you want to find resources. Sometimes you want to get reviewed. Right. What if you What if you are a you know beauty care product? Or you do e-commerce, right? You want to get reviews. This is a good way to do that. So reach out for people to write review about your product, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it, let's imagine our, our product was a lotion company. I don't know, lotion line, lotion care. I, I, let's, I'm just hypothetically doing this, but of course, you know. The cool part is you can, up, you, you know, even though you put in a URL, you can right. manually update this. You can manually change these fields. Right. Products. Uh -huh. Now, the, the idea is, will I get review? I don't know, right? I actually don't know about this, but will I get review opportunities for lotion? It's really weird to think that's even possible because who's going to be the first? Amazon, other people, you know, like who reviews this stuff? I don't know. 
So drugstore review of the week, Dr. Teal's at Dr. Teal's adv- avocado body lotion. So <laughs> some, somebody's reviewed something, you know, like right. this could be your competitor. Bali Body Lux Moisturizing Lotion, you know, so these people are reviewing lotion products. Now, I just randomly thought of lotion, but because this was something came up in one of the support tickets somewhere. But like this is, I would say, really awesome, really, really cool. Now, you could do this for any product, any tool, any service, which is amazing, right? Mm -hmm. So this is for review opportunities. Now, let's go back and create a campaign for um, tools I showed you, resources would make sense. Now, offer expertise, I think, is the best one. We have a lot of people, I think, in the group that are um, they're consultants. Right. They have agencies. They want to offer their expertise out. So in a case like this, like I let's say I, I have this tool. I want to offer expertise on um, SEO or backlinks. Uh, let's say backlinks because I think that's a good um, – you know, right. Let's do backlinks here. Mm-hmm. And you see it, it pulls it up automatically for you from your keywords anyway. Okay. Whoa. That was, see, sometimes it's really fast, real time. Sometimes it's cash results. So you got to remember that. So Robert Richards, 50, you know, 58 experts rank backlink checkers. So this is good for me because yeah. and we, we have a backlink checker tool, but you, yeah. get, you get an idea. Right. You know, no, this is like, re- you know, you're getting this real time results all of a sudden for anything, you know, uh, expert advice on backlinks. Um, I can clear results and go probably legal. Um, but of course, I, I would not want to do this. I'm doing this right now, but I probably not the best idea to do this in the same campaign. You should create a new, ca- you know, new campaign and do this. But the idea is identical and the same. Right. Um, you know, and you, there you go. Legal advice, law firm security advice. You know, you can put in different keywords for different aspects. And this is on-demand opportunities you're getting all the time. So this is something. It's really powerful. It's as powerful as you. You got to be creative with it. You know, and you got to use it to its potential. It's it, there's a lot of potential to it. Um, you got to think of ideas for your business that relate to your business. And you know, I'm I'm sure you can find tons of them. A lot of people ask me, should I, you know, I have Uber suggest and I'm going to be honest. I'm, I'm going to talk about another tool. I have Uber suggest. Should I get backlink SEO? Yeah. Yeah. hundred percent. You should. They're two totally separate tools. The reason why, why is that? Let's say skyscraper technique, right? Um, I go to, I go to Uber suggest. I put in my, I put in my competitor. I see all his backlinks and right. I say what? Like Uber suggest gives you the backlinks. Cool. So you still got to find the backlinks, you, you take the backlinks, find their emails, set up campaigns, set up sequences, reach out to them. This is where we come in. You use this technique type, skyscraper technique, and put in all the URLs. Co- copy, paste them all here. Let me see if I have anything um, coming up. Actually, I, I might. I might not. I, I'm not really 100% sure. But um, if I have something where there is a list of backlinks, you know, it'd be really cool to show you guys right away. Uh, let's see if I can open anything. There you go. Verify B recent. Ooh. Okay. There you go. A lot of referring domains. This is a lot, but I, you know, this is an insane amount of domains we have. We're trying to show, but. So that's now if somebody's using, let's say you're saying Uber suggest, they can. Mm-hmm. Grab all those, export them, and then paste them into your tool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then do what with it? Go from there. Go from there. Get contacts. And then do the the campaign and all the do stuff. the campaigns and outreach and everything. Yeah. So the tools work together very, very well. You know. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, of course, this is going to cost me about five hundred credits on Hunter. <laughs> you know, but at the same time, you know, I can use one more lead, but Hunter is going to give me, you know, more results in that case. We're still growing one more lead. So, I mean, this gives you a very, very good idea. Right. Um, but, you know, for, the, I guess, for the sake of this, let's actually show you all and do this, you know? Like, is it possible to get emails from 500 links? That's that's a big question. That's a very, very big question. Like, how, will it take time? Yes, of course. It's going through every single domain. It's going through and finding all the emails for every single one. It will take some time. 
It's hitting the Hunter API. Um, you know, it's going to sit there for a little while. It's gathering a lot of data. It's doing a lot of work. So, right. I mean, um, at this case, a lot of people have asked me, like, Abdul, I have a thousand links or I have 500 links from my competitor. I have, you know, um, what do I do? Th this is exactly what you do. You put them in here, you connect um, them with our tool, paste them in and get um, the emails and get it r running. So at this moment, Hunter is the one that's actually taking time. Not our tool, it's Hunter. We're, we're waiting on Hunter to give us results. Right. That's where the, the load time is coming in. So while this goes on, I don't, you know, at least I don't want to waste your time, you guys time on um, just looking at a loading sign. Let's go back and check. Okay. Yeah. How, did, did, did anything happen? Ooh. 12% <laughs> opened my email. Yeah, already. Wow. Already. <laughs> I want to show you the power of this, right? This is crazy. Right. So yeah, somebody from Neil for opened. Yeah. 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 Oh, so this is the other part. You can go really granular and say who opened the email. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. You know, and so that's really really nice. We Let's see who else. So we have somebody from Shane Bar uh, Shane Barker. Okay. Yeah. Uh, actually, a lot of people. So we have SEO review tools opened our email. <laughs> that's cool. Somebody from Ahrefs. They opened it as well, right? Let me let me take that out. Uh, Look at that. Yeah, I see that. So just something to think about. I mean, this is live. Like we, someone is someone is yeah from Arabs. I see that they they just opened. Yeah, yeah, they're on their phones. <laughs> Everybody's on their phone. It's Sunday night, maybe you know. Right. But, you, but and there are a lot of these, you know, probably SEO ability and all these other ones in Search Engine Journal. They got all the emails, but they just probably didn't. Um, they haven't opened them yet. And it's hitting the inbox because you're using Gmail, right? To that is correct. Yeah, yeah that's correct. Um, so <laughs> I don't. I don't want to. I guess <laughs> at this pay, I don't. There's nothing I can say more than this. Like right. This is really. Live. This is very good. So in a way, you even have basically. I don't want to say this, but. Uh, this is like having lem list inside the system. Every single campaign, one campaign is equivalent to one lem list account LTD. Think of it that way. How about I use this as lem list? <laughs> if, if you if you want to bring that up, then yeah, definitely think yeah. about it because it, not, only, you... not only that, but for my my other e call 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 the emails. That's, that's that cool. makes a lot of sense, right? It does make a lot of sense it's now that I'm thinking about it too. Yeah, so it's 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 um. So if you think about the startup plan, which is 149 dollars, that's like five Lemlist accounts, right? Because you have five campaigns. Yes. And the cool, and, you know, and you can reuse those campaigns. Delete one, start it again. Delete another, start it again. So it's unlimited campaigns, unlimited send. It's fascinating. I mean, that that sense. You know, what do you hold on? Can someone just use this for whatever they want rather than backlinks? At the moment, they it's very, very geared towards backlinks. Okay. Now, let me show you something that I, I know so people have, are, are doing. And then send that email rather than just... Uh, does that make sense? Sorry, say that again? No, if I use my custom email for something else completely different, right? Mm -hmm. uh, what's going to happen if I did that? Oh no, nothing. Nothing gonna happen. You could still use this and your custom email. Oh. It's just in your inbox. You're gonna see, you know, everything combined. When you get a reply, everything's gonna be combined. So it's no problem. Um, Actually, if you have access to. That, can you check that Gmail? How it's sending out, like from the sent area? Oh yes. It's that's a lot of things. So oh, some of these hit. Some of these hit. So yeah. this is good. This sent out here. Yes. So ooh. Yeah, it's sending out. Yeah, but you see some. You see, here's one thing to check about. Remember, we did not re we did not remove the the um, the ones that were like ninety five. Yes. The ones that were ninety five, we should have kept. The ones that were thirty thirty, we did not remove them. Right. We didn't remove all of them. That's our mistake. So then maybe having some verification tool automatically connected to it in the middle. Yep, that's that's our plan. Our plan is to have Verify be connected to this, so you don't get this. So because if you if you do not check your, um, you know the the validity number that Hunter is giving you, 
yes. when you're sending these, like I just did right now by accident, not, I didn't even check. That's not good. You need to check those numbers. You need to take some time and do this and actually go through these, you know, um, because you could like this, you know, not hit. So yeah. that's something to really, oh, really, really, really think about. They can unsubscribe from the emails, so that's good. Yeah. Right. Yeah. That, that, that's, yep. Yeah, that's, right that's good. That's good. Yeah. So I mean, and when they do that, it will it will tell you on your analytics. You know, it will, it will show you this. Um, guys, if you have any questions on the tool, uh, we're here. Uh, let's yeah, you let's know, and we will definitely. If you ask any question, we'll be able to answer them. I'm hearing this uh, problem with uh, Restream has a line saying that the uh, the chat has an issue, like comments are not being transmitted. But if you're sending them, definitely let me know. I can I can pull up the questions here as well. Uh, go ahead, yeah. Yeah, I mean, so this has loaded. Um, you know, the five hundred like so. There, these this is almost. I think over a thousand emails. So this is the ones you want to remove. Thirty-five. Yeah, Thirty-five. Wouldn't send that. Yeah. You don't want to send these. Um, but to, to, you know, just I guess uh, after two sprint cycles, you, we will have Verify B uh, integrated into this. Mm -hmm. So you won't even have that problem initially. It will just stop it from before even sending. So um, you know, and it, it, I think our goal is to actually show you verified, non-verified, right when you get these emails, and do like an on-demand verification process. Another so, question I have for you, and the question I have is, if I'm doing the the uh, the, the keyword thing, and then it's giving me all the different domains, uh, bringing up all these posts, can I choose what country they come from? At the moment, at the moment, they're all coming. Like, I wouldn't say country is very, like, the country isn't really a factor. I would say language, I I can understand. Yes, at the moment, it's English. English. Um, yeah. So. I, I wouldn't say like geographical like geographical lines are not really understood on, in internet space. I would say, in my opinion, I think languages are. So if somebody wanted something in Arabic, or um, you know, uh, somebody was from Malaysia, they wanted something in Malay, or you know, any, anything like that, I think that's something we can definitely improve on and add as we go. So okay. definitely something we're looking into. Uh, one of the difficulties is you know displaying the data because it's it's different languages or display text differently and things like that. So we're working on that. But at the moment, we want to make the English version perfect, and then start introducing more languages. So that's definitely going to come, without a doubt. So yeah, excellent, excellent. Yeah, um, I mean, at, uh, I know we have problems with. Uh, the messages. What do you call, the messages coming in. So I don't know if there are any questions, but uh, I think this is so one good way. If you know, if you know exactly what you want to do, or you know what you're doing, um, right. you can go all custom. And what that means is this has no parameters set. You can set up a custom query in here and pull in results. Okay. So the, yeah, the question hasn't been submitted, but somebody actually. Uh, uh, Yes, somebody said uh, the good stuff need to grab a license, might go big. Any payment arrangements? Are you doing anything like that? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, if you're buying anything agency and above, um, reach out to support. Definitely we can help you out, you know. Um, uh, so currently it's like 60-day plans that we yeah. have set up. Yeah, so um, definitely want to help you out. Just know that during the LTD, the 4X um, agency is, is at a discount right now. It's $200 extra off. It's like seventeen ninety nine. Once the LTD closes and your agency owner, you know, you want to think about upgrading. Just know that there's additional discounts in place at the moment. Um, but definitely, I want to help you all out as much as I can. Um, so please reach out to support. They've already been given instructions to set up payment plans for you. It's going to be a little bit manual, but we'll set it up. Um, and this usually takes, you know, just a little while. Um, but we get you sorted. No worries. Okay. Another question I have. I actually mm -hmm. was answered last night, but. Uh, people may want to know this. And uh, so we talk about outreach campaigns. We talk about email sending. We saw that it's actually also a cold emailing tool that does all, you know, everything really good. And if you connect to the right resources and pulls all those emails. Um, so what's your roadmap like? What are you bringing? Very good question. I want to show you something, if that's okay, before I get to that. Oh, I, did, I just did something on the, on the screen that yes. using the custom campaign. Okay. That I don't think many people are aware of. So what did I do? 
I used the custom campaign and I added all in title infographic and I added my keyword finance. Okay. And it pulled up all these infographic finance related mm -hmm. posts. So if I had an infographic related to finance or vice versa, I could reach out to these people. Just something to think about. If you're a business and you're creating infographics and you want opportunities to reach out to people, um, reach out to places would be, you know, so somebody's talking about finance, applying growth mindset to find finance. You can do this. It's really, really powerful way to get easy backlinks. One infographic you make, share it with two, 300 people, you know, very, very easy way to make backlinks. But let's go head over to the roadmap for sure. All right. So um, I think a few things that you already know that's done. Let's go in progress. So let's go from bottom up. What do we have? Show recent changes over time. So currently we're working on something that shows you better a better analysis of your monitoring over time. So we already have analytics. So if you go to domains, let's say you go to rank today and you go to analytics, we already have over time, right? But this is not really in depth. What we want to do is we want to give you over time in depth, like for example, on your landing page. And we want to say, how many users did you get over time for this specific landing page? And we, we want to show you that graph. And that's something we're working on. That's something I think is really powerful for people and is really, really helpful. Um, let's see. What else do we have over here? Sorry. Change of backlink monitoring reports. Actually, it's 100%. We've already done this. So uh, I know a few people maybe have not seen this. Yes. But if I am in an, a, any dashboard, for example, Verify B's dashboard, I can go and create a report. Right. I can give it a name, you know, title, create, and I could choose what do I want to add. All you know, if I do, I want all this information. Do I want just a little bit of this information? Let me do this with um, Rank today because I know data is already in there. So let's go create a report just very fast. Do I want the summary? Yes. I want the anchors. Do I want the landing pages? Yes. All the do follows. Do I want Google Analytics? Yeah. Search coverage, definitely. How many backlinks do I want to show? Let's keep it small. So let's keep it at 50. Um, let's give it a title. Rank today. Report created by Abdul. Why, why label report? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I can go in, I can go in, um, change my logo. You is know? This every level? Is this at every plan? Like throughout the plan? So white label is at business and agency. Before it was, only, I think, yeah. So it's at business and agency. However, just the reports was only supposed to be for business and agency. Now it's for everybody, if that makes sense. So anybody oh. now can create a report, all plans, even solo. It's just not white label for them. Um, but for business and agency, it's fully white label. Okay. Yeah. So I could add notes if I wanted to, campaign tagline, the best reports ever. You know, I, and I can go and generate a PDF for this. Um, yeah, it looks good. You know, so... It, it's download. It's downloading a PDF. You know, I can go ahead and open up the PDF. Of course, I, my tagline comes there. It gives a little nice cover cover page. You know, and you get a, you get a report that you can hand out. You get all this metric data. Remember, all that metric data that people want to know about for each of their links is all in there. Um, you you chose. I, I chose what I wanted. Remember, I chose do follow. I chose I, if I wanted anchors. You can choose what you want in your report. But, and this can create a very thorough report for you for your backlinks, you know, and all the other data that's already in your monitoring based account. So, so the report looks, uh, so there's no, uh, the, the logo just comes at the top, right? Is that just at the top? Yeah. Nowhere else. Oh, so, no. in theory, in theory, <laughs> somebody could remove that. I'm not saying anything. <laughs> Again, I'm I'm not one of the I'm not I'm not no, somebody who takes extra efforts to do it. My my biggest concern was if you will have like uh, the background image with everything like SEO in the back. Yeah, no, no, no. that's that's petty at that point. I think I believe this is guys. I know this is recorded in live. That is petty. Okay. Look, <laughs> in in essence, can you download this and take out the cover page and put your own cover page and hand it and make it white label? Yes. Of course, yes. yes. You know. Um, but it takes extra effort, so you're paying extra to, to save time. Basically, that's what it is. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. This is in this is in I would say my belief system of uh, as much as I can give people. 
that have supported me, I will. So this is in that, um, I would say in that fashion, I'm doing this. I'm not dumb. I know that I, I we could have as a business branded everything and did all of that. I just think I, I know there's a lot of people that could find benefit from it. So I'm leaving it as is, you know, so just, right. so, you know, thank you guys for supporting us. So please, you know, um, but yeah, that's that we, we were going through the roadmap. Um, competitor insights and domain insights. So it's at 95%. Why is that? So if you go here, you'll see a brand new tool called domain insights. Mm -hmm. And you could put in something like AppSumo in there. Wow, they got a lot of links there. And you got a lot of data. Yeah. I remember that. So wh now people are like, can I do this unlimited? No, of course not. You cannot be searching unlimited amount of domains. That will, we're paying for this data, guys. So there are limits. Um, their agency is about 300 a month. Mm -hmm. um, you know, so, and you, you got to understand, the, this Domain Insights was actually not even, when we started the LTD, we started thinking about this. This was not even a thought process. You, you didn't even see this listed. This is almost like a freebie. And we will always be doing this. We will always, as we improve the tool, we will always be giving these out. And remember, all plans get this. This is, you know, another thing to think about. Even Solo has a certain amount of limits per month for this. I think it's 25. But the, still, you can still do this, you know, use this. You're getting Moz rank, logistic, you know, you're getting all this information, you're getting backlinks from our database. So this backlink profile will improve. And the reason why you see 95 and not a hundred percent here, why is that? You might be asking is because we're putting, we're going to be adding a lot more data to this view. We'll be adding traffic data. If we can possibly get it source data, competitor data, things like that, things that you actually be able to um, include. Now the question somebody has asked me already is, Abdul, can I create a report of this? Mm -hmm. Yeah, in the future, you'll be able to. That's the idea, you know? So you'll have all these different types of reports you can create. SERP viewer, 60%. So this is something that we plan to launch by the end of this week. Right. It's very, it's going to be, it's very simple at its core at the moment. It's just going to be a SERP viewer for the United States only at the moment. So you'll be able to type in a keyword, see the top results thing to see more. This is also, uh, there are limitations on how much you can use this um, because of, you know, resources that this uses, but it's not, um, you know, it's not, uh, it's more open per se than the domain, domain insights. Right. Um, uptime monitoring, this is already included. As you notice, um, when you add, when you add a domain, you get uptime last checked, you know, you get these intervals already in. We do plan to possibly you know, you know, down. It's going to send you an email automatically, right? Yeah, yeah. So, what what is our plan? We we plan to add different settings to allow you to choose. You know, do I get an email after one minute, five minutes? How do I want to, you know, um, be notified? And we so we plan to improve upon that. But that's not really a focus at the moment, as you know. Um, so that, th but this is there, and I think this is very crucial for people. So. It, as we go on and start going through this roadmap and a lot of these tickets are moved over, then we can improve on this and say, probably we'll create a new tool for you. Just uptime monitoring where you can just put in all your websites and monitor them, you know? So you might just leave your other uptime monitoring tool in that case and just use this built in. So just something to think about. You know, full, uh, full depth re uh, redirect crawling. So there is at the moment, um, when you crawl URLs, there's redirects that happen. The system at the moment just does one level. We are working on doing multi-level redirect calls. And um, so, oh, limit uh, limit emails per domain setting. This is actually already done. So I guess uh, we didn't get a chance to update this. As you saw already um, in the video, you can go when you when you pull in emails for the campaigns, you can already do this. Uh, TLD support for builders is also done. Sorry guys, I'm I'm updating this as we're going here, but these are all done. Search listings, any way to display more search re listings results? Yes, now we added a load more. So these were suggestions from users. Just remember that this was not part of a roadmap. These are all user suggestions that came in two weeks ago and we already completed them. Just something to keep in mind. This is very, very heavily user focused. You are the people who are gonna be driving this a lot. So give your suggestions. Um, of course, we're gonna filter those suggestions based on uh, our trajectory for our business, but at the same time, we want feedback, we want suggestions so we can build things that you will use, you know? Uh, 
Now let's look at the things that I think people earn media tool. I cannot talk a lot more about this because I would say competitors, but this is a tool that's not been mentioned anywhere on the LCD. Everybody gets these. You got to remember that. Um, so like everybody's going to get this tool. There's still going to be limitations to it um, for different levels plans. Agency gets everything. So, um, but earn media tool is going to help you with PR, right? Think about outreach campaigns. Think about PR. Think about how do you find places where you can actually pitch to journalists and things like that. That's what this is. Lead gen for agency. This is lead generation. You'll be able to have a form embed that you can embed on your website if you're an agency or a business to give them reports, any of those reports and capture leads. Check index status. This is um, slated for about three to three weeks out. So you'll be able to check index for all those backlinks that you have. Is it indexed or is it not? This is another user base suggestion, which is add tags to backlinks and visualization. So if you want to add tags to your backlinks that you're monitoring and say, how many did I get from guest posts? How many did I get from sponsored that I paid for? How many did I get from outreach? It will show you a nice little graph to see you know, your overall backlinks and where you got them from. So this is something we're working on as well. Ahrefs integration. Um, this is a little while out, probably fourth quarter, midway fourth quarter, but this will allow you to, you know, put in your Ahrefs API key and pull in other metrics data for backlinks. Um, indexing pages with backlinks. So this is something that we're still considering, right? Because this has a lot of slight issues, but the way this would work is probably help you paying it on, on your Google Search Console, a more, more simplistic way. Additional an analytics data. So... Currently in your analytics that you have, you do get a lot of keyword data, right? Oh, so this one doesn't have any data, sorry. Let's go down, let's see keywords. So you get this data, but then what, right? Now the question is asked, I have this data, I have the search coverage data, so mm -hmm. what if I wanna see if my position improved from last month to this month to next month? That's what we're talking about. So you, you, we're gonna use your search coverage data, but here we're gonna be able to display for this specific keyword, construction company names, where were you last month? Where were you this month? Where were you next month? 2021, well, this is not on the roadmap, but let me tell you what the vision is. Twenty, you know, Early 2021, what we'll allow you to do is after the, that keyword data is built in, imagine you looking at this and saying, oh, my CTR is low, Abdul. Um, I want to go and change my title. You'll be able to change your title, put it in here, and you'll A-B test. You'll be able to go to your website, change your title, come back here and, and look at the 90 day previously in 90 days and see, did my CTR actually go up or not mm -hmm. with my new title and with my new meta description? So those are the type of things we'll be adding to keep on, you know, um, they're, not, they're not core focused on um, backlinks, but they're really crucial for you as a business. So, so th that's what that line item is, I would say in, oops, let me close these down uh, in the roadmap. Um, SEMrush integration, um, same thing as Ahrefs, you know. So able to tag, so these are these are ideas that come in either from the team or from suggestions from users and, you know, definitely we're gonna add. So let's look at this. White level reporting, we already have this. So, I, you know, I wanna move this around. Um, whoops, it's being a little finicky. Oh. So, Sorry. While you're looking at that, so are we done with the roadmap not yet? Yeah, I mean, there's a lot in the roadmap. That's what I want to. I mean, I don't want to go through everything and waste everybody's time. But to talk about this, right? So LTD upgrade path. A lot of people have been asking, and this is now going to be probably one of the things we want to do a digital thing recently. Is that most of the people who buy from you are the, the like are LTD people, and they rarely uh, get you know monthly expenses. They because they're buying a lot of tools all the time. So for me, what I see is people coming into the market of the LTD world is come here, make some money, right? And then move on with your life, try to take care of these, you know, uh, customers, try to yeah. use them to the best of your ability because you can use, uh, you know, you can, you can, you know, take advantage of the positive reviews, try to, you know, get the feedback on the tool, all this stuff. But the thing is, sometimes they hit the limit and when they try to upgrade, that's when now most of the, everybody here is coming with the with the hope that uh, they will upgrade with uh, a monthly, but definitely that doesn't happen, right? Sure. Yeah. So what what plan do we have here uh, for you, like for your upgrade path for your? 
their customers? I think that's a very, very fair and very good question. You know, um, and I think one of the paths we both have discussed intensively, extensively, and you actually have helped me give, you know, I think this out to the group, which is anybody that has agency can for lifetime, anytime can upgrade to higher tiers at any given time. Right. So this is all thanks to you, of course. Um, but any, any other plans, um, they would switch to the lowest level ever offered monthly plans. So let me give, what does that mean? If tomorrow Backlink SEO offers a 75% off deal, Right. right? And we only offer it for, let's say, Black Friday. Mm -hmm. That brings down the pricing for startup. Uh, I, you know, what is 75% off of 25, right? Right. And the couple of bucks. $2. So, yeah. So whatever the lowest ever pricing we have ever offered, any customer is what the LCD users get at any time. Perfect. That's also very fair. So yeah. we, for the three plans, they get the lowest monthly rates ever offered. So if I offer it three years, like if I offer it today and five years later, yes. you know, we're grow very, very well off, you know, grown. You can still come back and say, now the startup plan is like $79. You are still getting it off of the 75% off 25. Just remember that. So you're locked into the lowest ever rates we ever offered. For any of these ones. Excellent. Fair enough. So and if you have an agency any one time, you can always uh, upgrade with an LTD, right? Yeah. So agency can upgrade to 2X LTD and then 4X LTD. So it basically doubles each tier. So okay. and those are so you have to remember those are plans we are never going to offer anybody else. Right. Just remember that. So those plans are like grandfathered plans that are not going to be offered to any MRR customer. So for MRR people, agency, 15,000 monitor, this is it. So this is the moment to get 4X LTDs. Right. And you're not going to get this anytime else. So that's, that's something to think about. Perfect. Perfect. That's, uh, that, uh, uh, that's really good. So now we have the chance, if somebody picks up the agency license, guys, you can upgrade to a second agency to a third. Is it up to 4X? Up yeah, up to 4X. Up to 4X. So that means, uh, yeah. So then down the road, anytime you outgrow out of your agency, you don't have to worry about paying monthly $99. You will just pay for another agency. And does it does it stack up or is it going to be another agency? How no, does no, it stacks. Stacks the same. Stacks the same. So, so each account stacks till 4X. Think of it that way. So if somebody today bought two separate agency accounts, if they wanted to for some reason, they could stack those in the future, both to 4X. That's good. So yeah. now, you know, if you are trying to build an entire business around this, and it's actually going to be a, you know, a very good way to build a business uh, on helping businesses build backlink. Uh, of course, using this for your own site first, because most people, you know, they, they uh, try to sell you how to build backlinks. And then I ask them, uh, how many web, how many backlinks that your own website has, right? Mm -hmm. And they just show you like they have nothing. So what are you telling me? Just get out of here, right? So <laughs> charity begins at home. You got to first you can do it. And when people see it, they'll come for you. That's exactly. Yeah. Right. If you have really good backlink with big, you know, companies, you got to show me you have it first there. Don't yeah. tell me I'm going to sell, sell you an Amazon one or, uh, <laughs> you know, you know? cnn.com yeah show me you have there first and then i'll go and listen to what you're saying so that's good so that's good any uh questions that's coming i'm gonna check if there's any uh let me check my phone as well just in case you know yeah so uh at least says that's more than fair for an upgrade path exactly and that's the plan so going forward with all the deals that we'll be dealing with and uh, uh, my my goal is to make them understand the, the reality of the community that we are launching the deals with and that we don't like I, I did several surveys in the group. Which tools do you pay for? They only pay for those highly, uh, you know, crazy, expensive enterprise solution, for, yeah. you know, tools that they have no choice around like Adobe. Like people don't have much choices around it. Sure. The Adobe suite, the entire suite is like, $25 a month, whatever. Yeah, yeah. You know, $30 a month. And people pay for that kind of stuff. Other things like they pay for Notion, which is like, what, four, four bucks a month? Yeah. Uh, if you have something that's 
four dollars, two dollars, three dollars. I pay for last pass, which savings. <laughs> it's it's two bucks a month. Yeah, right. I totally get you. Yep. Yeah, right. And yep. and for something like that, that that's understandable. But if I'm gonna, if you are selling something that's ninety nine dollars every month, and it's one of the tools that you know can be easily replaced. Definitely, that's not a good business model, right? Mm -hmm. So you gotta come up with an idea. You gotta mix and have a good strategy. So having, uh, see, this is what we did with Cream, right? It's, uh, yeah. Cream actually uh, would have sold more like crazy. The the, the sales will have hit more than three hundred thousand or whatever, two hundred thousand dollars. But what he did is he's like, okay, if you pick up even the lowest plan, we'll upgrade you into the LTD all the way up to hundred, you know, hundred hundred contacts, right? So, which kind of people were just buying the 99 <laughs> so they can, which kind of slowed down the sales for us, but yeah. still it crossed, re, it did very, very well. And he understood when I discussed with him, he understood the nature of the community and said, look, rather than coming back here again tomorrow for mm -hmm. another LTD, I want the people who are getting the deal to upgrade and I don't need to come back for an LTD okay. again. Yeah, and of course you know me already, man, and you know what happened previously yes. with Verify B and things like that. So exactly. So you know, these are very, you know, my goal is always with any um, any service, product, and business is sustainability, value to the customer, and that's those are two things that I just live by. You know, value to customer, and then kind of how, while providing that value, how sustainable can I be? And I think. I think in, in all fairness, like I said, having the lowest ever deal that we give anybody right. becomes the possible path for LTD. And then if you're agency, you have unlimited path to upgrade at any given time. You know, I think that's very, very fair. Which is very, very fair. Yeah. Definitely fair. So I know that if I got the agency tomorrow, I can always, you know, yep. grow with you without having to yeah. break, break my... Pockets, pockets. Yeah. And it's a no brainer. Honestly, you know, and, and some people some people are saying, Hey Abdul, look, I, I can get the agency now, but what if I want to upgrade to Forex and I want a payment plan one year from now? Guys, still no problem. We're here to work with you at any given point. Just you know, you're supporting us, we want to support you in any way we can. So perfect. That's good. That's good. So I think if there's any other question, guys, ask. I'm trying to see who else has some questions. Yeah, because we, we can't see. We used to see all the chats here, but tonight uh, there's a problem with the rest stream, and they have this uh, they have this as part of their uh, actually notice here saying that you will not be able to see some of the things here. Uh, any, oh, I got a few questions here. Let me see. So going from business to agency later will be the lowest monthly agency price. Um, uh, Justin is asking that question. But what so, if you upgrade during the deal? It's just the two hundred two twenty dollar difference for the LTD, right? Yeah. So if you make an upgrade while the deal is on, they will make they'll pay the difference. Is that? Yeah, yeah. So while the deal is on, if you're in business right now, you just pay the difference. Right. Once the deal is over, let's say once the deal is over, you're on a business plan, and you want to upgrade to an L eight like upgrade afterwards. Let, uh, it depends on what offers Backlink SEO has offered, right? So if we have not had any deal offered, the plant, the plant you have to upgrade to $99 a month. But let's say Black Friday comes around and we offer 50% off on all plants, mm -hmm. all right? And then, or we offered on New Year's 90% off or 70% off. Whatever the lowest amount is ever offered in our history is what you pay. So you, if that becomes $20, then you would pay $20 for that upgrade for agency. Excellent, excellent. Yeah, so going to ages later will be the lowest monthly plan agency. Yeah, that's right. So yeah, I think Justin's questions are clear, clearly answered. So any other question that you guys have, I'm switching between uh, different uh, sports asking to see who's asking a question. Uh, let me see if there's another one that's here. Anything else? Yeah, so Atli is asking, so how will the verification work for those who don't have Verify B when it's launched inside of a backlink SEO? This is a good question. So a lot of people have invested in, uh, you know, clear out, they invested in uh, TrueMail, 
they invested in uh, Verify B, but let's say they don't have Verify B. I, I know that's your tool, yeah. but many of us didn't buy a tool when it was on LTD. So what happens for the verification? You know, there's a very, very good question. And honestly, I don't want to answer it today. I'm going to be honest with you. Why? Because there's two paths we can go. Here's right. two paths. One path is integrate all these other tools, 10 different tools, and then allow you to choose which one you want to use to verify Just like the API. Snowview, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. yeah. Okay. Put in all this stuff. You can use Snowview. You can use, you know, and then do the verification process and then do this. I'm still debating if that's a really good user experience for my users. I don't think so. So my goal, this is what I'm going to try. I can't promise it. So please, just know I cannot promise. I'm going to try. Something look good is coming. I feel like something good is coming from there. Let yes, me yes. Let me I'm going to try. Let me make the prayers, bro. Yes, let me hear I, that. I am going to include Verify B in it without using any API. Just back end all, all unlimited emails verified that you sent out. But I'm going to try on this, guys. Again, like this is, but this is the hope. I want to provide the best user experience to my users, which is you guys. So just something to think about what I'm working on. Huge, like big deal yeah. right there. So somebody can automatically verify all that stuff, if possible, down the road. He's saying um, with Verify B without paying for it. Without paying for it. That's correct. As long as you pay for this tool. As long as you pay for the tool. That's correct. That's, yeah. that's just going to now change the whole game. Right. Yeah. So if that's gonna be done, I think everybody has to go for four X. <laughs> well, I mean, yeah. Like, like I said, man, I want to provide the most value I can, right? So right. I, of course, I have to. I, what, what I'm here's what I'm doing right now. I'm looking at costs. So I'm, I'm doing estimations and cost analysis in our team, and I'm saying how much of how much of the profits that like we will take a hit. We will take a big hit in our revenue from Verify B. If we do this, it's kind of giving, what we're doing is we're giving backlink SEO as a more business. More credibility, more value. Not, not that only that, but we're kind of giving backlink SEO a loan for let's say 20 million credits a month. So ah. one business is giving the other business for free. So we're, one business is taking a loss. Right. At the, at the, at the value add for you guys, the users at this case. So, um, and so we're still crunching the numbers on this, but this is our hope, what we want to do, definitely. Um, because it's it's not a good user experience for you to choose 10 different tools and try to get their API and put it in. That's tedious, right. man. You know, that's just too much. Yeah, Bruce is here. Bruce in the house. Okay, excellent. Uh, he's saying, looking good, guys. Thank you so much. Um, this is the... Uh, we can't bring your, 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 your comments or questions on the screen today because of this... Um, uh, the, there's the problem with restream today. So the question is asking, would be great complement also to create something like blog distribution, something like Story Chief. Oh, I'm, I can't, guys. You can't just, dude, <laughs> Bruce. Listen, you can't take my 2021 roadmap and air it to everybody on live stream. Not They're cool, man. Right? 2021 roadmap. <laughs> I haven't. Look, there's a reason why we have competitors, right? And we don't want them to know stuff. I know there is a fine line between telling all your users everything you want to do and telling all your. Guys, look, I'm going to reiterate core focus is backlinks and outreach and monitoring today. Tomorrow, right. everything that we use on the agency side will be brought into this tool. Now, what is something that I really like? I really like my content, right? right? I really like content and I really like optimized content. And I really like distributing my content on Medium, on Google Facebook groups. Do I also like distributing, distributing it on, you know, on my own WordPress? Yes, I do. Will I 100% be implementing this within the tool? I don't know. Mm -hmm. Will there be a tool that's added to this and everybody here gets it for free? Possibly something to think about, but like, will there be a content editor? That's definitely planned. Will there be something that helps you with your content writing? Yes, of course. If you're going to start pitching, we, right. we're going to help you pitch. We're going to help you write better content. We're going to help you do all of that. Bruce, get, dude, don't, don't, don't air my 2021 roadmap without, you know. <laughs> yeah, there's some competition watching this. 
Okay, good. So he's saying he had no idea, which is cool. Yeah. Uh, any other questions coming? This thanks Bruce for your questions, and I'm switching between <laughs> different the groups because we are live in several groups as oh. on YouTube as well. So there's yeah. people asking the questions. The good news was before it used to bring all these comments in one place, not anymore because they probably messed up something. So let me see if there's another question. Yes, uh, Justin says, thank you. I think we got most of the questions. So the pricing for the LTD guys is, uh, the solo price is $59. Now, from what you hear is that if they, if all you know things go good, also you will have Verify B doing the verification for those emails. So there's be, there'll be like zero bounce, more like uh, uh, that's what Cream is doing right now. So, yeah. uh, right? Plan is one forty nine dollars. Then the business plan two seventy nine. The agency four ninety nine. And there's the payment arrangement for which plan? The agency and above. Agency and above. So there are people who are getting four agencies, and it happened. Yes. So the, those people are doing you know payment arrangements. And so if you want to do any arrangements for payments, they are doing a sixty day payment arrangement. Yep. Um, you can talk to support. Or yep. talk to Abdul. Abdul is always within the groups. And um, again, the kind of tools and the kind of people I work with, uh, it's not random. When I talk to them, I, I talk to people who make sense, who understand the community better, who get that we need payment plans, that we need um, you know, upgrade path for LTD, which now if you want, if you buy one agency today, tomorrow you can get second one third one up to four of them right so which is good and and abdul is with us in the groups sometimes he says somebody's saying i'm selling verify b credit and he's like cool you can sell that's your stuff right? yeah it's of course I, I, i'm all open for selling i'm all open for changing your emails i'm all open for this stuff you know yeah. I, I, it's, guys like i'm here saying this live to you and this is going to stay forever yes it's, it's you've bought this you've supported us We'll support you any way we can. And if that means changing your email 20 times, just contact support. They'll do it. Nobody's going to give in you any fuss. Just remember that. We'll do it for you. No problems. So those people who are trying to be, you know, uh, play these games that, oh, selling. So this is this is another, another thing that I actually wanted to, to address, right? The idea that if I buy my code today, right? Let's say I put the agency version from you, $500. First of all, that's my money. The price mm -hmm. of the time was $500. If I decide to get my money back for tomorrow, this is actually, in, in, in my understanding, this is good for everybody, right? Mm -hmm. Someone who missed the deal should be able to get it. Yeah. I can get my money and yeah. buy more deals from you for your next product or for the upgrades if you're selling any, you know, add-ons. So I don't know why some people make it a big deal that you can't sell your... your, your I have no idea, man. You know, the funny part is, I'm going to yep. tell you something. I've actually been buying back Verify B LTDs that people are selling. If they're selling low priced, I'm buying yeah. them back. I'm taking it off the market. I'm <laughs> saying, you want your money back? No problem. Take your money back, dude. I'll take it back. Let, let, let's have it. <laughs> you know? So, I mean, like, it's like almost no risk. And this yeah. is after one year of one year and a half, oh, one year and three months or something, you know, that they, they bought the LTD and they've used it for the whole year. And, I, and I'm the one saying, okay, I'll buy it. <laughs> so, I mean, Think of it that way, you know? So, yeah. Yeah. So, the coolest, you know, LTD founder, <laughs> I mean, uh, the, one of the founders that, you know, come into our platforms, he's in the groups, he's with us, he's one of us, buys LTDs himself, a little bit of an addict also. So, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Right? And oh, oh, man. Let's not talk about that, man. <laughs> so, guys, let's support him. Let's work Thank with you. him. That's exactly why he's there. And I bet many of them didn't even know who you are. Exactly. That's true. And a founder that gets it at least oh, yeah. guys, thank you so much for joining. I really appreciate your time. And it's amazing to always have uh, and we're gonna do more live, you know, uh, before the deal ends. We're gonna come back with updates, with anything. So stay tuned. And thank you so much for coming, for joining. Thank you, Abdul, for thanks, man. Thank you for having me. Thank you guys. Thanks for the support.